Hallo zusammen, I'm your vlog Dave. Using a language is a pretty conscious act. You know what you want to get across. And while you verbalize these things, you're pretty aware of the words and what to say in a way. Yet, almost daily, we Germans use certain phrases and terms that are so deeply and strongly rooted in our modern spoken German that we don't really notice or think about these terms in our statements anymore. Now, that might sound kind of strange, but it really isn't. Before I'm gonna begin with the first example, please keep in mind that I'm talking about rather colloquial spoken German for the most part. This isn't specifically related to written or even formal German, therefore. Alright? Alright. Number 1. Von daher. This phrase, consisting of two words, is usually used at the end of German sentences. When I say something like, ich konnte mich nicht entscheiden, von daher, or von daher konnte ich mich nicht entscheiden, I was supposed to make a decision in favor of something, but I couldn't do that. And since I want to make that clear, I add the colloquial causal adverb von daher, which is a variant of deshalb or deswegen, hence. Although some Germans might consider this kind of bad style, a lot of Germans actually use this. I use that every now and then too, but if I hadn't had this particular video idea, I wouldn't have noticed this phrase in the first place, most probably. The same is true for number two. Quasi. In this case, this term can also be found in written German, and as you might have figured already, it's derived from Latin. In both spoken and written German, this term appears to be less colloquial and more neutral in the way it's used by many Germans on a daily basis. Das funktioniert quasi wie ein Motor. It works or functions like or similar to an engine, so to speak. Another really frequently used term with the same meaning is sozusagen, which is a direct literal version of so to speak, only being a single term. Again, quasi and sozusagen are adverbs or modal adverbs to be a bit more precise here. Number three. Ne? Honestly, I could give you a lot of similar examples to the German ne. In my region, which is the Sauerland, some people might rather say woll instead of ne, for instance. Either way, all these semantically similar expressions have something in common. They are exclusively used at the end of German sentences, and they either strengthen, highlight or question a previous statement. Der Film kommt morgen ins Kino, ne? The movie's gonna hit the cinema tomorrow, right? In this situation, you wanna make sure you've remembered something right. Right? Okay, pun intended. But now you might think, wait Dave, I also know ne as a short form of the indefinite article eine, a or one. You're right, but this ne wouldn't appear at the end of sentences. So always make sure you've understood the basic structure and context of a sentence. Number four, halt. Magic, this term sort of changes its meaning depending on the context. It can be an equivalent to stop, stop for instance. In the middle of a sentence it's actually one of the most popular German filler words. Next to eben, or as many Germans also like to say it, ebend, although this term doesn't really exist officially. No. Das ist halt so. It's simply or just like that. Deal with it. Imagine having an error message on screen. You don't know what to do, so you're calling a good friend of yours who is actually an IT expert. Convenient. So he is coming to your place and he takes a look at the screen and reads the error message and then he goes like, yeah, but I don't know how to solve that either. And then you'd reply something like, aber es muss doch einen Grund dafür geben, warum das so ist. But there's gotta be a reason for why it is like that. There has to be. And then he replies, I have no clue, it's simply or just like that, that's the way it is, I don't know either. Keine Ahnung, das ist halt so, ich weiß es auch nicht. Let's conclude this video with exactly this. So, again, 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 so, can change its meaning depending on the context it's used in and also on the spot in a sentence. So, was mache ich jetzt? So, what am I gonna do now? Here it introduces a sentence, it's the initial word. You consider something done and now you're moving on to the next task. You express that by using so at the beginning of the follow-up sentence or statement. You're ready to move on. It's kinda similar to the English alright, or alright, so, or even 
okay at the beginning of a sentence. And I also use that quite a lot. And there are actually many more ways to use so and also in the German language and they don't necessarily always compare to the English so and also. And that's why I've made a video about just that. And if you want to check that out and learn more about this specific topic, check out the video by clicking the thumbnail in a few seconds. Oh yeah. So, and now the video is over. I'd like to know, have you noticed any of these terms before? Like in a conversation for instance? If so, tell me in the comments. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, so thanks for watching, I'm your vlog Dave, tschüss und bis zum nächsten Mal.